here is the sounding board and today we're going to look at Skeletor, the Masterverse from Masters of the Universe. I just found out that the tired line's being cancelled in April. So grab what you can if you collect the Master Universe figures, but here's one of the last few guys in the line. Kind of like the Evelyn I did earlier. But this is movie Skeletor from the old uh, Dolph Lundgren film. This is Franklin Jella as, Fra as Skeletor. So let's open him up and take a look. This is a good line. A really good line of figures. Okay. How do they have him hooked in? One strap is cut. Okay, he has leg straps too. to cut these out. I bet adults had the same problem.
here's what he looks like. From the front, the side, the back, the side, and the front again. His hood is, is molded, but he has a cloth cape. His arm mobility is very limited due to all the armor he has. comes with the time travel device, his sword, and a classic Skeletor Havoc staff based on his movie rendition. Does he have hooks to hook it onto? Him? No, he doesn't have hooks. I'm surprised so you can hang this off his belt. And a place to put his sword. But the look of him is very he looks just like Frank Langella Skeletor. His armor is very well, uh, is really, really uh, ornate for, a, for an action figure. You usually don't see this kind of uh, detail other than in uh, the Mezic. He's a Mezic quality figure. So he has an extra set of hands, a fist, and an open hand. But I've been waiting for a figure like this for a long time. When I found out Super 7 made him and him and He-Man. I really want him until I saw the price. And this guy's price friendly, which is nice. Un you know, it's like Super 7 are really good figures, but they're very, very pricey for what they are. I wish this strap was uh, loose so then you can have it go over his shoulder or you can hang it off his belt. But nah, it's stiff. Skeletor, based off the William Stout design, painted like Frank Langella. His hood is, is molded in one place if you're planning to remove it to uh, put the helmet on him from uh, the movie. And uh, used to recycle the armor and the, this, the, these pieces here as his, uh, and paint them gold. It's not possible because the face, the face arm fa is what you might be able to remove the hood carefully and re use the head. But I'm not going to take him apart just to find out. 
but it's one of those figures you always wanted when they made Gwildor, Blade, and two other guys from the movie, two of the mercenaries, but they never made He-Man or Skeletor. But now, in the Masterverse figures, we have Skeletor in the movie version, and soon to be released a He-Man of some form based off the movie. But, that's for another day. And plus this video took so long to pull them out of the package that you're kind of tired and exhausted after that point. And he does, like I said, have all the, the sci-fi detail that he had when he was in the movie. Which is kind of neat. But we'll stop there. So until next time, this is the sounding board. Signing off.